ended, the more than 200 participants gathered at Memorial Hall to hear a variety of speakers call for a free change. Even the organizers of the march were surprised by the large turnout. Carrying signs that read, Stop the War and Give Sanctions a Chance, several hundred people walked from East State Street to the Veterans Memorial Hall on North Main Street. You can tell we'll have no more Vietnam. Inside the hall, several speakers voiced their opposition to the use of military force in the Persian Gulf crisis, and they criticized today's congressional vote authorizing it. It feels like a nightmare that in the view of the words that have been expressed in the capital of the United States of America, people could still stand up and vote the way they have been voting today. It is a shock and it is an outrage. A heckler interrupted one of the speeches, but his viewpoint was not a popular one. Why did we send half a million young boys and girls? You can have your freedom. Right. No. Not yet. You know what they're there for? <laughs> Protesters say they also want a rock out of Kuwait, but they believe economic sanctions should be given more time to work. We have to be appropriate in our protesters marched from 200 East State Street to the Veterans Memorial Hall at 211 North Main. Once at the hall, leaders of the rally articulated their views to a cheering crowd. I am confident that there is not one person in this room who supports the Donald Trump or what he has done. What he has done is a violation of the things for which we all stand. But we have to be appropriate in our response to his outrage. An outrage in response to an outrage is not acceptable. Right. Nobody in this room <laughs> is here to say that we are not supporting our troops and our principles that we could send you to See on that. Uh, I, I would expect, Tom, that we're not going to hear in the 930 briefing from uh, Secretary Chang.